Good morning all, camelbacktrading.org coming to you this Thursday morning, May 2nd. We're looking at market, uh, window traders market profile of the ES and NQ. I finished that um, series Shogun, which was excellent by the way. And the reason I mention that is the chop we're probably going to see this morning would make any samurai very, very proud. Um, after what transpired yesterday, I do give the bulls some credit so far in the overnight and pre-market as we close near the lows of the day, but we spent the majority of the day above A's high from yesterday where change attempted to take place before it was obviously all taken back. Okay, it could have been very easy for the bulls to just give it all up and, uh, and go lower. Okay, now again, we have 70 minutes to go and we have all day. A lot can happen. Will we have an inside day? Uh, before we wait for another meaningless number tomorrow with non-farm payroll. Um, Apple, I believe, earnings are tonight at 4.30 Eastern time. Uh, Righty, um, pretty much the same thing, although, yep, it's same with them. Their overnight low didn't even get really below A's high from yesterday where change tried to take place. We did. Um, NQ also did. But the majority of the overnight has been spent way above it. The overnight is long, okay? Um, again, uh, we'll see uh, how much of it is truly long, how much of it is just short covering. After we took back and started coming in, I'm sure the shorts jumped back in. The daily is still down. That will not change for me. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It will not change unless we take out yesterday's high. That would officially put us back into balance. If we have an inside day, I would be down to balance because that would not stop the one time framing down. Game plan. Look, expect a tremendous amount of chop. Look where our overnight high is for right now. Right at value high and half back. Now again, there's 70 minutes to go. If that's our overnight high, that's a great risk reward short. You know you're out, right? Three visual things there. Half back, value high, overnight high. If you do get the overnight high and back off, then a very good long would be against A's high. And then use either a couple of points below that, or if you want to take all the heat down to the overnight low. Again, these are very early plays. We have a 15 wide pop, which I would carry forward if we do not go back to it at some point today. Other than that, let the market paint its picture. Let's see if you're going to one-time frame. See if we go trend. See if we uh, take out the IB high or low and raise or lower pock. Those are the things as the market's forming that will give, give you better things to lean on. Because I am telling you, this market, uh, this, you're going to have algos trying to find their way this morning. And there's a long way to find both ways. So please keep that in mind. Again, in my trading room, it's a six and a half hour webinar you're getting every day. Um, and my charts aren't going to show. I don't know why, but they're not. Anyway... Uh, I was going to show you the daily, so I'll just keep it on the profile. We're down on the daily. Again, the volume, only 80 million, nothing great. Uh, I would take, again, yesterday's range is the third largest of the year. I will certainly take range over volume, but I would love to have both at the same time. Thanks for liking and subscribing to this channel. Good luck trading today, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.